After spending the weekend in police cells, high-ranking officials from the Kenya Pipeline Company and the National Hospital Insurance Fund appeared before court Monday morning facing graft-related charges. Former KPC Managing Director Joe Sang, Secretary Gloria Kafafa, Head of Procurement Vincent Teruyot, Procurement Manager Nicholas Kitobu, and General Manager in Charge of Infrastructure Billy Aseka were the first to appear before Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti facing eight counts. It is alleged that the five engaged in the construction of an unplanned project dubbed the Kisumu Oil Jetty at a cost of 1.9 billion shillings between July the 1st, 2016 and June 30th, 2017. They all denied the charges and were each released on a 3 million shillings bond or a 2 million shillings cash bill and ordered to surrender their passport and travel document with the court. Accused 1, 2, accused 19, <coughs> accused 20 and 21 to be released a bond of Kenya shillings 3 million with one surety of similar amount or a cash bill of Kenya shillings 2 million. Accused 3, accused 4, accused 7, accused 9, 10, 11 and accused 17 and 18 to be released on a bond of Kenya shillings 2 million with one surety of similar amount or a cash bill of Kenya shillings 1 million. Accused 12, 14, and 15 to be released on a bond of Kenya shillings 1 million with one surety of similar amount or a cash bill of Kenya shillings 500,000. Accused 5 and 8 to be released on a bond of Kenya shillings 500,000 with one surety of similar amount or a cash bill of Kenya shillings 300,000. According to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, there were procurement irregularities in the procurement and construction of the Kisumu oil jetty. As the MD of the State Corporation, Sang is said to have used his office to improperly confer a benefit to Southern Engineering Company Limited by executing a contract in respect of tender for the construction of the jetty at a cost of 1.9 billion shillings, which exceeded the approved budget. They were also charged with abuse of office, engaging in a project without prior planning and willfully failure to comply with applicable procedures and guidelines related to the management of public funds. The Kenya Pipeline Company General Manager in charge of finance, Samuel Odoyo, who was not in court, will be arraigned on Tuesday. The case will be mentioned on January 22, 2019. In the afternoon, it was the turn of those implicated in the National Hospital Insurance Fund at the dock. NHIF CEO Geoffrey Mwangi, who is suspended, and Chief Finance Director Simon Kirgoti were each released on a 2 million shillings cash bill after they were charged with corruption in the 1.1 billion shillings NHIF scandal. 18 other suspects were released on cash bail ranging from 300,000 to 1 million shillings after they all denied charges ranging from graft, abuse of office and irregular tendering process. The prosecution, which had not opposed their release on bond, requested the court to release them on strict bond terms commensurate to the charges. Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti released them on bond but ordered them to surrender their passport and travel documents. I wish to be put on record that we are not opposing change, Your Honor. This is not because the charges are not serious. We consider them very serious, Your Honor. I have had in this court the charges being referred to as generic. Not to access their offices or interfere with witness or investigations with the exception of Jumbo Pay CEO Danson Mushemi. The court ruling that as Web Tribe Company, Mushemi's company was still offering their services to other clients other than NHIF. The suspects are facing 17 charges in total and the case will be mentioned on 9th January 2019. Ben Troy Joy, Channel One News.